Joo. Oh. Well, bad news. Um, I had a very, very, very rough day today. I don't know what happened. This morning I woke up fine. Um, I don't know. I mean, I had uh, had a soft food again, cottage cheese and, and peaches and um, protein shake at about 10 o'clock. I don't remember exactly, but I started feeling nauseous. But I think it was after lunch and I had eggs and oatmeal. And maybe I'm eating too much, but I measure it out. You know, right now I'm at a cup of food per meal. And, um, you know, about, again, two eggs is about a half a cup, give or take, and then a uh, half a cup of oatmeal. And I didn't even eat the whole thing. I felt like I could eat more, but, you know, just like nervous. Because uh, when I've had eggs and oatmeal before, it kind of, now I'm starting to, you know, reflect back and think, that I, did, is this a trigger somehow? Is the oatmeal too filling? I don't know. And then again, I've been, I recently take a, started taking a magnesium supplement, just the, you could get it on any, you know, Walmart or Amazon or whatever, um, uh, Calm for the magnesium, not for Calm, uh, but for the magnesium for, again, be blunt for bowel movements, um, at a, you know, a bit of a struggle. So maybe that was it, the, the struggle with that kind of stuff. So it's amazing I'm talking about this um, for strangers. Um, just to get, but again, trying to be transparent in what I've gone through. Um, I remember talking to the doctor before the procedure, the nurses, and I have a lot of trouble with constipation, like major, major trouble. And um, I found some combinations of supplements and stuff like that that are natural things and um, it has magnesium in it. One of them has, it's a probiotic and prebiotic. And I mean, it really, really, really helped with the uh, irritable bowel syndrome, the IBS that I have, and the constipation and stuff like that. And um, you know, I haven't been taking them because they're capsules. They told me not to take them. And, you know, everything's just a mess, you know, and I had a good cycle beforehand, before the surgery. Now that I'm off, you know, uh, after surgery, totally different diet, no supplements, no vitamins, really, except for what I drink in a protein shake. And the protein shakes I have are pretty good with vitamins. But anyway, um, sorry, this isn't as comfortable um, with, uh, you know, be, being in, in the bed. But anyway, so my diet wasn't really any different. I started feeling nauseous about lunch and, uh, but again, you know, I, I think I said yesterday is like the water, drinking water causes water brash. If I spit constantly, it helps. I tried doing that, but it was like the water brash was turned up to the extreme and the sour taste i can't drink water at all now i mean even a little just to rinse my mouth out after brushing my teeth or something like that just to you know i have dry mouth i want to drink a little bit of drink of water it's horrifying it's just so bad it's never been this bad um, i don't want to drink water anymore that's how bad it is I try to flavor it with Neo, um, it doesn't work. Gatorade's better, you know, again, but it's, it's the water that makes the, wa the sour taste and the water brash worse. And yeah, because I, I was gonna take like a, uh, my Lanta I have and Gaviscon or Tums, but I'm kind of nervous about taking those because, you know, they have magnesium in them. And I'm wondering, is that magnesium back to re, re, uh, uh, reflect uh, sorry um, getting back to my original point of mentioning the magnesium uh, at the calm is it too much you know and am I am I getting some I don't I'm not, I don't I don't think I'm even close to being in uh, overdosing on magnesium but again because I'm on such a weird diet and I'm not getting much food in comparison to what I was is it just like again for a normal person this magnesium might be level might be below what you need but for me now maybe it's a major problem i don't know it's the only thing i could think of but again i went back to the 
was on a liquid diet mostly over the weekend, Friday, Saturday, went back to the soft food diet on Sunday, which was yesterday, and again, I forgot to mention today's day 27 um, of the process, tomorrow's a month, four weeks out, day 28, um, so, but anyway, uh, I, I don't know, yesterday I felt relatively fine on Sunday, even though I was on a soft food diet, and then today, again, I felt fine in the morning, had my cottage cheese and fruit, and then again, started feeling nauseous, and Again, I don't think it was until I, I started having a protein shake. Um, but I, I, don't, I don't think it's too much. I feel like I need more. I want more. I'm, I'm, I want to drink more protein shake, get more calories. And I'm not drinking or not eating food. But is it too much? Even though they gave me permission. Like, if you feel like you can tolerate more protein shake, okay, fine. And I was for a long time. I, I was drinking protein shakes, and I just felt fine. I was feeling kind of back to normal. I was just doing daily activities and... I don't know. But anyway, so after lunch, I had another protein shake. I got home. I got home. I get home from work early and I got home about, I don't know, let's say I had a protein shake about 3.30. And um, still, I just felt really nauseous and the sour water brash and the nausea was just really, really bad. Um, today was a day after surgery where I felt was one of the worst days I've had even before the procedure so that says yikes i really reverted back really regressed and i don't know why because if it's you know man i'm like at right now and again i'm not trying to deter anybody that's trying to get the surgery right now i wish i could go back and not do the surgery as bad as things were back then, today was a horrific day. Really horrific day. I feel a little bit better now, but I still am getting a little bit of nausea. I could take a nausea pill, but again, I know they can deal with constipation. I already have issues with that. I am. I did feel more pain around where they fixed the hernia. And, um, you know, again, I don't know what it's from. Bearing down. Uh, I don't know. Um... I know these, again, as I've mentioned a million times, you really got to baby it the first month. And here I am in a month, and who knows? So again, I'm, I'm going to the doctor tomorrow. Um, I'm going to pretty much demand the esophagram and any other tests that are going to give me to check to see if I have to do a, a what's it called, an endoscopy. Again, I'd have to prepare for that. And maybe they won't do it because they don't want to, you know, if I'm not fully healed with the TIF, or they want to go down and rip it open or something because uh, the valve's not, you know, fully prepared or whatever. Maybe that's not something they want to do right now at this point in time, but um, I don't know. I'll, I'm going to do whatever test they want me to do because it's bad. It's pretty bad right now. Um, at least before surgery, you know, I'd go through points where I would... You know, there's triggers. You know, I had, I don't know, fatty foods or spicy foods or... Um, you know, citrus, Mountain Dew, too many Mountain Dew, something like that. And I get a flare up and I'm like, oh, I knew what did it. I knew what the triggers were to an extent. Whereas now all I'm having is, I mentioned, cottage cheese, a fruit, canned fruit, which is on the list of things I can eat. Cottage cheese, fruit, eggs, oatmeal, ground meats like turkey and chicken, the lean ones, and mashed potatoes, instant mashed potatoes. And uh, protein shakes. That's pretty much all I eat on the soft food diet. It was so bad for dinner, I decided to go back to the mush, the, the slop that I had mentioned. And, um, but yeah, anytime I drink water, I just drank water before I started this video. And I just, I try to spit out, I, I take a little sip and then I spit and spit and spit. So, I don't know. I don't know what I did, what happened, and why it, it, it's worsening. And worsening, it's not like, oh, I have a few symptoms. Because, again, before the surgery, I'd go, you know, I'd have some symptoms. I'd have water brash, cough drop, again, a cough drop, and it get under control. But now, I mean, I'd still drink water, and it was like the symptoms would go away. But now, they just don't go away. So again, I'm, I don't know. I, that's the only thing I could think of is I, that I ripped. 
uh, whether it's the TIF or, but the doctor says, absent of fever, you know, you didn't do many major dent. Well, you don't know yet, do you? So you got to do some more testing, I guess. I don't know if they can be able to tell to see if I have a hernia without going inside. How do you see the hernia if you don't go inside, down my esophagus and in my stomach? I don't know. I'm not the expert. But, um... Man, it's frustrating. So, that's what I'm afraid of. You know, that I did some damage. And um, I'm going to have to have a repeat of the same procedure or, you know, are they going to tell me I have to do a Nissen? Um, I don't know. But even then, uh, you know, am I going to have a recurrence of the symptoms? Now I'm going to just be fearful of that because... I'm not an optimistic person, I'm a pessimistic person, but now I'm just, you know, when things go wrong, I just now going into going forward, I think, prepare the, uh, for the worst and hope for the best. Um, but I'm preparing for the worst. Uh, and good or bad, right or wrong, that's just who I am, unfortunately. I'm not a glass half full kind of a guy. I'm definitely a glass is half empty. Not good, but it is what I do and it is who I am. So that's about all I have, uh, nothing else, but again, not good news, all bad news in terms of my symptoms and uh, other complications. My thoracic outlet's flaring up and my sciatica is flaring up, and I'm sure that has a lot to do with stress and anxiety related to this process, but, you know, because the symptoms are what get, what give me anxiety and give me stress and give me depression and I'm fighting it but and I'm not I'm not doing very well with that right now um, but I'm trying I'm not going to give up but I'm not going to say it's been easy hopefully anybody that's watching this and that still goes through with the procedure hopefully you're um you know I I, I hope for the best for you and um I I'm pray that, that anything, it, it would go the right way for you and it'll work for you. Um, but here are my complications. So again, uh, I'll, I, not short, short, but shorter. Um, just a quick one on, um, you know, my symptoms. So again, tomorrow I go to the doctor and I'm going to ask about giving all the tests I can and giving, giving me all the tests they can give me so I can see what's wrong and what happened. And then, um, they still haven't gotten me that GI cocktail that I mentioned. Um, the, if I call, had to call the doctor and they fight with the, with them to call and give the ph pharmacy the right ingredients and so I'm assuming they'll call me tomorrow and they'll have it ready so I can take it but again I'm not something about relaxing the esophagus and I'll take it if that's what they want to take give me but I hope it doesn't taste bad because again I, I already have some really bad nausea and I, you know, who do, who likes to throw up? But, you know, I just, uh, anxiety like nobody's business and the cold sweats and I just cannot handle, I just hate it. I've always hated it. And um, I, you know, the nausea is the worst part. Sometimes it's like, you just want to get it over with. Um, but, um, you know, I've, I haven't and I, I, I don't expect that I will, but it's just, again, the anticipation and the fear of it, it sucks. So anyway, um, doctor tomorrow, See what they say. Try that cocktail if I can get the pharmacy to give it to me. And um, I'll kind of go from there. I'll try to post a video tomorrow about um, what they said and what the next steps are for me. So, shall find out.